I got shot. I always felt like I'd be shot. Somebody tried to do me some harm because a lot of people don't like me. But I didn't think it was going to happen at that particular moment. I'm surprised, but I'm happy. I believe that, you know, this is all in God's hands. Tupac, your life has been marred by considerable pain. Do you think you'll ever get to the point where you can live a normal, happy life? No. But I, uh, I'm going for it. I'm trying for it. And until then, I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. I just want to say, Jazz, that um, as far as the remorse, I have a great deal of remorse. As far as I want you to treat me different, I don't want that. I just want... Um, the chance to make right from all the bad things that I got, you know? When the curtain went up, I just caught that bug that everybody talks about. When you're like, whoa, <laughs> this is it. To go through my life and everything I did in my life coming out of a family and a household with just women, mm -hmm. to get to this point, to have a woman mm -hmm. say that I took something from her. After getting shot, I was like, shit, I don't know who to trust. It was hard. When you're born, usually, you're born to a dynasty or an empire, right? You're born, like, as a junior or, you know, following in your father's footsteps. You always tell, oh, your, your father, he did this, or oh, your father, oh, your grandfather, he did this, or we got this, or the family heirlooms. It's none of that. In, in the outer city. I call it the outer city. There's no nothing. We don't get any family heirloom, the family crest, all that stuff that you would think is so important was meaningless. Because we, we, I mean, come on. Instead of us just being like, slavery's bad, slavery's down, bad whitey, bad whitey. I mean, all right, let's stop that. I know you're rich. I know you got $40 billion. But can you just keep it to one house? You only need one house. And if you only got two kids, can you just keep it to two rooms? I mean, why well, have 50 room? It just don't make sense to me. It don't. All BS aside, it all comes down to we got to survive. I mean, even warriors put their spears down on Sundays. We got to survive here in this country. Because I'm not going back to Africa. We got to survive here. For us to survive here, white folks, black folks, Korean folks, Puerto Ricans, we gotta understand each other. We gotta take take a bigger chance. And when I say Americans, people think I'm talking about Uncle Sam. I mean like actually Uncle Sam with the gray hair and the flag. I mean you, 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 the guy, you know, you, the mechanic, wherever, you. I mean you need to do something. You need to check yourself and see how racist you are. You know what I'm saying? It's real. It's like the only thing we can really leave behind is culture, is music, you know, and 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 dignity and determination. That's what we have. So it's like I feel as though I'm cheated because instead of me fulfilling my prophecy, I have to start one. Instead of me, you know, doing a good job and carrying on the empire, I have to build one. And that's that's a hell of a job for a 21 year old. You know what I'm saying? That's a hell of a job for any youngster, male or female, to have to build an empire for your family. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's like, especially when the odds is that, you know, you, have, you know that somebody else who lives in the inner city, the real inner city, suburbia, who, when he's born, I mean, 16, gets a car, automatic. You know, there's money in the bank for college. You know, it's Christmas, it's go to vacation somewhere. Our vacations was down the street, across town. Grandma house, you know what I'm saying? That was the vacation.